everyone. I'm Cynthia Beretta and I'm from Bread Organic Farms. Today I'm going to show you how to cut up a whole chicken. We're going to start from the beginning to the end, what it looks like at the start and what it looks like at the finish. When you're choosing a whole chicken, you want to look for one, the size, how many pounds it weighs, you know, how much fat's on the bird. And if it was up to me, you'd always buy organic chickens because they're much more flavorful and they're much better for you and for the environment. We're going to cut up a chicken into eight pieces. Eight pieces is typically what it, a bird will you know, yield depending on how you cut it. And then you also have the back of the bird, which is really great to make chicken stock with at the end. We're going to cut it up from the beginning. The reason it's really good to, to know how to cut up a chicken is one, it's a life skill, so you look like a great pro at a dinner party when somebody needs some help to cut up a chicken. Two, you get much value, better value per pound buying a whole chicken versus buying it in parts. And three, you actually do get more meat because you do get the back and you get all the pieces of the chicken that have been trimmed away when you're buying the, the pieces. That's, you know, the breast or the legs or the drumsticks. So we're going to start. Here's a whole chicken. This is what it looks like when it's, you know, in its raw form. It's a nice friendly bird. We're going to cut it up. This one actually still has its neck, which is even great, even better to make stock with at the end of the day. So we're going to cut it up from so the beginning. We're going to start with the whole chicken and now we're going to end with eight pieces. So what you do first is make sure you have a very good sharp knife. A bony knife is really important and that it's very sharp because otherwise you're just going to get really frustrated and you're not going to have nice clean cuts when you're cutting the pieces you know into different into different pieces and when you're cutting the different legs and the wings off the actual carcass. So a good bony knife is very important. Okay. So what we do first is you're going to make an incision. We're going to separate the legs from the main part of the bird. So you're making a nice incision there, cutting that all down. And what you do is you just kind of take it out and break it apart and you can see the thigh bone comes out. And then you just cut this right here, it comes right out like that. Cut that away from the main part. So you've got one leg. We're going to cut the other. And there we go, like that. So just cutting the skin away from the breast. Try to be careful not to cut into the breast because otherwise you're just going to damage it a little bit. It just won't look as nice. Cutting that off. Again, popping that bone out. And then just cutting here. So you're just cutting it off the back of the chicken. There you go. So we have now two legs. And what we're going to do is separate the leg into two pieces. So the drumstick and the thigh, so you have two pieces. This is sometimes can be a little tricky, but if you just kind of see this, it's usually two tone. You'll have the thigh is one tone of color of the skin and then the leg is another color. Uh, the leg is obviously darker because it's getting, the, the drumstick part is a little darker because of the exercise that the bird's getting. So you just make that incision there, kind of break it, and you cut right through the cartilage of the bird. There you go. So there you go, you have two pieces. So you have a drumstick and thigh. You can do that again over here to this piece. So we've almost got our, there we go, we've got four pieces going there. There we go, two thighs, two drumsticks. Now we're gonna take our wings off. So that you just cut right there all around the breast. Get that right in there. Break that apart. There you go, there's one wing. Some people like to leave the uh, drumstick part of the wing on, which makes actually a chicken supreme. I like to take it off because then you have actually eight pieces on your bird versus, you know, only, because really that little piece isn't much of a piece for the, to actually have another piece of chicken for the ear eight pieces. It's just gonna be too little. You might just have to throw that out. So there's your two wings. And now what we're going to do is turn it over. So we have here the back of the chicken. Your two breasts are here, one, two, and your neck is here as well. So what we're going to do is cut the back away from the bird. Just going to cut through those bones. That's why you need a really good knife. A little bit of force through here. You're just cutting up the back of the chicken, pulling that out. There you go. And you just cut through here. There we go. So there's your back. That you can use for stock. We're also going to cut the neck. 
off here. So that you're just going to pull out here. Cut right through the bone. There you go. I'm going to trim off all this fat. You don't really need that unless you want to keep it to make soup. You can leave that there. And now we're just going to take this one little piece left out. Right here. There we go. It's a little piece for a stock. Now, so here we have the two breasts. And now what we're going to do is this piece in between here is really just cartilage. There's not a whole lot of bone there. And that's what we're going to cut directly through to have our two pieces of chicken breast. So you're just going to start here. You can start if you want, just kind of making an incision you know you're going to follow. And you just break it right through. There you go. That's about the only difficult part. And you cut right through. There you go. And you have two lovely chicken breasts. So we have our two breasts, all of our parts to make stock with, which again, you wouldn't get if you were going to buy this chicken all cut up. You've got our two wings, our two drumsticks, and our two thighs. And there's your cut up chicken. So now that we've cut up the chicken, Depending on the size of your family and how much you want to cook at a time, if you're a single person, what you could do is now that it was a fresh chicken, we've cut it up into eight different pieces. You can now put it into separate packages and freeze it and then thaw it out as you need it because it was fresh, never been frozen, that's great. And then it's very economical because you've saved so much money buying the whole bird and you've learned this life skill of cutting it up. Uh, what you really should do with the stock portion, which are, was the back of the chicken and the neck and any fat and pieces that we had left over, is freeze it separately and save it for a day that you want to make chicken stock from scratch because it's really, really great to make it from scratch versus just using a bouillon cube. Um, or else alternatively you've done it and you're going to make your meal. So you can now prepare your whole chicken that's been cut up into different pieces and prepare you know, your new dish. So. That's what, we're, that's what we've done, and um, that's it. Thank you very much.